Hey guys, how's it going? Tail here. Welcome back to the channel on this lovely, lovely day. It is seven in the morning. We've got a train to catch at uh, St Pancras. We are off to MCON today. MCON is in Nottingham. My first time actually going to um, MCON. Really excited to check it out. Don't think it's the biggest con in the world, but um, I like exploring the country. Going up and down, we've been up to Liverpool. We've done a Birmingham con, done a few London cons. So. Yeah, nice to check out a new venue today. Off to Nottingham. Main uh, attraction today is uh, Jonathan Rhys Davis, I think that's his name. The guy who plays Gimli in Lord of the Rings and Salah in Indiana Jones. So, um, yeah, next time you see me, I'll probably be at the station for the train. I'm shattered already and it's 7 a.m. I will see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so we are in Nottingham, I'm about 10 minutes away from the arena, so I just thought I'd do a little sit down uh, to announce something, and that is that the main reason I'm here to see John Reese Davis from Lord of the Rings, of course. Uh, he's actually cancelled during the night, and I wasn't aware, so I put my Gimli Funko Pop to get signed today, and it's not really going to get signed, unfortunately. So, really dis disappointed that I won't be seeing John Reese Davis today. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get any other guests. I know you've got Mike Quinn who's there and um, Brian Herring, I hope's there. Um, the schedule just come out and it looks like there's a few more names missing. I think Pete Davidson's missing as well. Um, but I'm disappointed, but I'm not too disappointed at the same time. It's a weird one because um, we've got so many Comic Cons coming up. So you kind of get to save money by not getting them giving me pop sign. So it's a weird one really, but um, Anyway, let's go to the con. Just have a good day. I haven't really got a plan now. I haven't got to worry about getting in line, getting cute, getting in queues and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to go around, go around, look at the stalls and see what happens really. So, yeah, disappointing. I'm coming this way and uh, the guest I want to see has been cancelled. But probably my fault in a way for uh, coming to MCON just for one guest. Because it is a bit of a risk when you come just for the one guest. Uh, but anyway, let's stop waffling. Let's go to the con and uh, yeah, let's have a good day. Yeah, I've got an in game one. Yeah. I still like it. Yeah, I might. I might come back for that one. Nice. Nice.
I've done it to you as well. <laughs> So that is another Comic Con done. So there we go guys, another Comic Con done. Wasn't the best con I've ever been to, but it wasn't the worst either. I had a good time. It was more about just looking, checking out the stores today, which is not something I've been able to do at a con before. Normally when you go to these Comic Cons, you're, um, sorry, it's a con. Normally when you go to these Comic Cons, you're so busy waiting in line in queues to see the guests you want to see. But this time, it was a little bit different. So yeah, nice to check out all the like, independent stores. Uh, loads of, there was loads of improvements that could have been done. Um, I'll probably go into them in more detail uh, later. We are back from MCON. What a day. I tell you what, traveling up to Nottingham is a journey in itself. Not the longest journey, but in this heat, honestly, it's absolutely it took it out of me. And I wanted to get this uh, video done and posted for you guys. And of course, I wanted to create the content as well. But yeah, what a day. And I'm absolutely shattered. But let's go through um, the day. Um, let's talk about what was good, what was bad. Um, maybe you can kind of tell what, what was good and what was bad from... Um, the clips that I have put in uh, today's video. Um, but yeah, the day got off to a disappointing start, of course, with John Therese Davis uh, cancelling uh, almost during the night, I believe. I wasn't aware he cancelled and um, until I actually got to Nottingham. Literally, when I got out of the train station, um, MCON had released a schedule, which was, that was bad in itself, that MCON released a schedule for photo ops on the day of the event. So people couldn't plan their actual day until the day of the event which shouldn't work like that the, the schedule should come out three or four days before the con starts so that was really disappointing so yeah there was no um chance for me to get my gimli funk pop signed so gimli come all the way to nottingham stayed in my bag all day didn't bother getting him out of the out of uh, my bag so that was a big disappointment um i'm sure he will be out of a concert in the future I'll touch wood um so yeah, but yeah, he but of course he was the main reason why I went to the con. So yeah, that was disappointing. Um, but let's talk about the good stuff and the fun I did have today. So let's talk about the venue. So it was at the Motor Point Arena in Nottingham. Went inside and as soon as you go in, like everyone's queuing up to get in, but it's all stalls. And so people are browsing stalls while people are trying to get into the venue. So I was like keen to get into the, the big hall, like the big venue. Uh, the arena but like, why I'm keen to get in not a lot of people are moving forward because everyone's looking at the stalls which is fine like it, it worked out okay once everyone was in the venue but when you, like the venue's opening up and everyone wants to get in you kind of just want to get in first before the stalls opened so yeah that was a bit of a uh, weird position for these stalls to be on the side it worked like I said it worked after a couple of hours when everyone was in but initially getting into the venue it didn't work because people were only half looking or well, i think when you look at your first stall you're not going to buy anything on the first stall while you, you're going to go to the bigger venue look at the whole arena before you go and uh, to these niche little stalls to buy something um but as for the motor point arena itself i was really impressed uh, i felt like it needed um an extra room because you walk you you almost walk around in circles again and again and again i think there may be only four uh, rows of stalls. So you do, it does become quite repetitive. You keep going around the same stalls. And, you know, you can't, you literally know the map of Baha. You don't even need a, a guide, to, you know, of uh, Emicon. So uh, what I did when I got in, I just took a little walk around my, uh, myself. Um, the first uh, stall I went to was, of course, a Funko Pop stall. And it was a, a family, um, a family, a father and son uh, business. And um, it, it looked like they were just sending their Funk Pop collection. That's what I'd assume, because the pops were very random. Um, a few little grails, maybe, um, a few rare pieces. Um, but yeah, so I went to this uh, store and immediately I saw a pop. I was like, I have to get it. I picked it up, it's right in front of me. I will show you later on in the video uh, my pickups. So yeah, I picked up a Funko Pop straight away and I thought this could be quite a dangerous day as I, I bought a Funko Pop very early on. Um, now, then I decided to sit down like uh, in the seating area just to take take in MCON 
and look at the venue and hopefully uh, catch uh, Rich and Lee. Um, if you don't know who they are, you've got Rich, who is Big Indie on YouTube, and you've got Lee, who is the pop star on YouTube. I will leave the links to their channels in the description below. I'm sure they're going to be posting MCON content as well. Probably bit uh, content a lot better than mine, as they had a lot more uh, guest interactions today compared to me. It was really weird because Rich and Lee, they took a selfie um, of themselves in the arena and, and they put it on the group chat. And there's me in the background of the photo. And they said it wasn't intentional, which is I find it hard to believe, but I do believe them. Um, yeah, and I'm in the background. I t and I text them, boys, you got to turn around. And then I saw them. And then uh, my uh, con uh, M con, uh, they really started once I met up with uh, Rich and Lee. And yes, yeah, so we decided to walk around. Went to a few of the stalls. The stalls are really cool. Um, yeah, let's talk about the stalls. Uh, one of the stalls that I did see was a stall called Pam's Happy Hats. Now, if you did watch my Birmingham uh, vlog from last year, um, Pam's Happy Hats was at uh, the Birmingham Comic Con, so it was really nice to see um, uh, some stalls that I have seen in the past. Um, Pam's Happy Hats, they do like these uh, crochet uh, little figures. Um, I have previously got a Vecna one. I would try and find it for you, but... I don't know where it is. So, so, sorry, Pam, but I'm not too sure that is right now. But um, some really cool little crochet figures. And uh, yeah, that was really nice to see uh, some familiar stools. The day started to get a bit repetitive because the stools were all familiar. There wasn't a, a separate room for you to go and explore. So you kind of just stuck in the one arena until you're ready to leave. And I think what happens is like with all of us, you end up buying stuff you don't need. Um, I picked up a candle and then I was like, I don't really need a candle. Um, I picked up a few comics. I was like, I don't really need the comics. Um, and then I did pick up a, a, a Funko Pop, which I was really, really happy with. The Funko Pop I picked up, really, really chuffed with. Um, it's one that I hope I could get signed in the future. Um, I'm not sure if this person does do cons, but we will soon find out. Um, so yeah, I picked up two Funko Pops today. Like I said, I will show you them shortly. Um, but the other thing that I found a little bit bad and this is no reflection on uh the person himself because he was he was really he was really friendly and that was uh brian heron uh the puppeteer for bb8 so um there was no there's literally no bb8 funk pops anywhere in the con um i found one it was down for 15 pounds i was like it's a little bit pricey for me um i looked around tried to find one for a little bit cheaper maybe a tenner but I really couldn't find any so that was a problem so but Brian Heron uh, was selling uh, BB-8 Funko Pops himself because obviously, obviously, of course, he'd have the stock. He's the puppeteer. But the cheapest one, he uh, cheapest BB-8 pop he was selling was for thirty pound, and then you're paying thirty pound for the autograph. So you're paying sixty pound for a signed BB-8 Funko Pop, which may sound alright on paper, but the cheapest BB-8 Funko Pop out there, and the one he was charging sixty pound for, was a seven pound Funko Pop. So really. If you own the Funko Pop, the uh, the signature will cost you uh, with the pop thirty seven quid, and he's charging sixty for the minimum. I think he went all the way up to ninety pound. And for me, um, as much as I like BB Eight, love Star Wars, and I I really appreciate uh, Brian Heron's work. I felt like yeah, I don't appreciate BB Eight that much as a character to get a pop that I'm not that interested in for 60 quid, especially as he was the puppeteer. He wasn't actually like the actor or the voiceover. He was literally just the puppeteer. So I did give that one a miss because the prices of his BB-8 pops were silly. I think he did miss a trick here. Um, yeah, I feel like he could have priced them a lot cheaper. He probably would have sold a lot more, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. People probably would be fine with the price here. But for me, I just felt like it was a bit out of my... Uh, price bracket and I'm just not that much of a fan to get uh, a BB-8 Funko Pop signed. Um, speaking of Funko Pops, uh, there was no new Funko Pops, as crazy as that sound. So, uh, so we've got of course the latest uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Pops out right now. Um, none, absolutely none at the, at the con, which is crazy. Uh, I saw a couple of the new Indiana Jones Pops and I think one of the new Return of the Jedi uh, Funko Pops, that was the Darth Vader Pop. But apart from that, there was literally no new Pops anywhere. So all the Pops that we did see at these stalls were quite old Pops, Pops that don't really sell. Plenty of B&M Pops, so lots of Pops that you do see in your B&Ms and maybe even your home bargains. So um, yeah, it's quite difficult to find Pops that were going to fit in your collection. Um, but anyway, let's, let's, get, let's, let's show you the uh, Funko Pops I picked up. Um, the first one I picked up 
what's like, like I said, what's from this Father and Son company? It's uh, from Spider Man in the, into the Spider Verse, uh, pop number 409, and it's Spider Man Noir. As you can see there. Now I'm a whole um covering the price sticker. Um I know there is a um a more valuable version of this one. Uh, it's, it's Spider Man Noir with uh, the hat on. Uh, but obviously this one is without the hat. But if, if you had to guess what value I'd pay for this, I don't think you'd guess it, especially with it being at Comic Con, like Comic Con prices are uh, quite extortionate. But I paid nine pounds for this pop. So I felt that was a really good deal. You know, I think like just a standard pop these days is like, what, £13, £12.99? So to get uh, a pop like this uh, in t um, from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, of course, this film is going to become even more popular now with the Across the Spider-Verse out. Um, yeah, really tough to pick that one up for £9. Um, I might do a little, a little YouTube short um, of this pop in the future. So I was chuffed for that one, £9. Quid. Um, now, that was the thing because I didn't have the, the Gimli uh, Funko Pops get signed today. Um, I felt like I had a bit more freedom to buy some pops. And the other pop I picked up um, was a pop that I've always, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I've always wanted. That's that, yeah, I'm being a bit dishonest there. But a pop that I had a greater interest in after I saw the TV show Bates Motel. So I watched all, all the Bates Motel um, with, uh, of course, Olivia Cook and. Charlie, 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 no, Freddie, Freddie Highmore, Freddie Highmore, that's it. Um, yeah, and I wanted to get myself a normal Bates Funko Pop, and that's what I got. I managed to find a normal uh, Bates Funko Pop from uh, the film Psycho, of course. Now, of course, this isn't um, uh, from Bates Mattel. This one is from uh, Psycho. It's just the same character that Freddie Highmore played in uh, Bates Mattel. So, and the pop, the price I paid for the pop was. Twelve pound, and I think again that's a really impressive price. Um, I, pr I, pr I probably won't be able to find it now, but I think if I went back to look at my Liverpool Comic Con vlog, I saw this pop at the Liverpool Comic Con for like sixty pound, and then for, to get this a twelve pound, absolute bargain for me. So to get two of these pops that I've never seen um, in stores anywhere, Smith the Entertainer. Um, I don't know, HMV, game, wherever you want to go, Tesco, Asda, um, uh, for, Forbidden Planet even. I've never seen these pops uh, in a retail store. So to get these two pops for 19, 20, 21 quid, really, really happy with that. So the pop pickups today were brilliant. Um, but yeah, overall, guys, uh, the MCON wasn't the best con I've been to. Um, I could safely say that. But I did have a really good time. Um, I think, what, of course, what would have made it better would have been better guests maybe but i feel like all the guests that went they were really happy to be there they're all really friendly um mcon the vibe and the atmosphere was really really nice so i feel like everyone got along didn't seem to be any trouble uh, the staffing seemed good so that was really important the staffing and the security that all worked really well and the staff were helpful for me i asked um, where the atm was and they helped me um uh, find the, the cash machine like little things like that so yeah i can't complain about the staff either the staff were really really good today um but yeah, overall, uh, really nice, uh, really nice day to get back to um, a comic con. So that was my second con done of the year. We're into June now, so there's not actually been that many opportunities to go to comic cons this year. So yeah, I've got two done now, but we should they should be picking up now. We've got London, the London one next month, and we've got the Manchester one, and then we've got the Wales one. So and then you got Liverpool after that. So I hope I'm not sure how many I'm going to be able to go to, but I want to go to all of them as it stands right now. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, really great day, especially with Rich and Lee, of course. Uh, first time meeting Rich, so that was really nice. And nice to see Lee for a longer uh, period of time. Last time at Liverpool Comic Con, uh, we didn't see each other that much because we were too busy uh, getting pop signed and all that. So this time is more of an opportunity to chat and walk around, which is really, really nice. And um, hopefully I'll see Lee um, open another mystery box soon because that was really good fun to watch. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is my... Uh, vlog for mcon and my review and my thoughts uh, if you did go to mcon this weekend do let me know your thoughts i'd love to hear what you thought uh, in the comment section down below guys um and if you did go to mcon will you be going again and if you've been to one in the past was last year's better than this one i'd love to know i know there's quite a few um guests that did drop out this year you also had uh katie o'brien who's in ant-man quantumania and mandalorian uh, pete davidson dropped out of course 
and of course John Reese davis from uh, Lord of the Rings and Indiana Jones. So some quite big dropouts, unfortunately. But like I said, I guess that were there today. I think they had a really good time. They seem to be really uh, interacting uh, with all the fans. So that was really cool. Um, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for my vlog today, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, that'd be great. And if you could hit that subscribe button as well, that'd be even greater. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. See you later.